26 million people watched as Eminem and Elton took to Grammy stage. Well, tonight we begin with Eminem, MTV, and his only post-Grammy interview. Anyways, I hope you get this, man. Hit me back to the chat. Truly yours, your biggest fan. This is Stan. But she's gone cold and wondering why. Jay, 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 Jay. Of course, I heard of Elton John. I didn't know he was gay. I didn't know anything about his personal life. I didn't really care. Yeah. But, you know, being that he was gay and that he had my back, I think that it made a statement in itself saying that, you know, he understood where I was coming from. What do you think about all the hoopla being made over Eminem performing with Elton John? I love it. It's adding excitement to the show. Myself and Jimmy Iovine went to meet with him and talked to him about this. He was like, man, f them. <laughs> Elton said that? <laughs> he said, them, the protesters. Elton said so, that? Yes. Did he? Yes, the protesters. I mean, they really need to think about it. It's just music. I think Eminem's very talented, but lyrically, I find him to be really offensive. I don't think there is controversy except for what the media is making it to be, so this is America, right? You know, I really don't know what to make of it other than it's going to make for great TV, and I can't wait to see what goes on up there. They waited with bated breath and readily championed his cause. I believe in freedom of speech. I support the man in his art and what he does and what, what he wants to say as art. I believe in that. How can I tell him he can't say something and, and say that I get to say whatever I want? That's just, that's not right. I can tell you about him is, you know, when he comes over to my house and hangs out with my son and I go over to his house and hang out with his family, it's, uh, you'd be surprised, you know, he's a great father and uh, he's, a, he's a genuinely nice guy. Yeah, nobody's going to run out and kill anybody after listening to an Eminem record. It, it's, that's not the case yet. But where there was anticipation, there was trepidation. He's going to do something outrageous before the night's over. I mean, you know, Guaranteed. You don't know what it is? I have no clue what it is, and uh, believe me, I've got uh, I've got all of our production crew kind of sitting there Finger wondering. The button. Absolutely. <laughs> Speak to me. Shut up. I'm trying to talk. Well, the fingers may have been on the bleep button for the Eminem Elton duet, but seven curse words still made air on the live East Coast feed of the Grammy telecast. Stirring and poignant, the duet brought the crowd to its feet, and it culminated with a hug. Then the bad boy of rap sending a two-handed middle finger salute to the crowd. And while Eminem did walk away with three Grammys, his producer, Dr. Dre, felt shortchanged. I'm very disappointed. I think, actually, to be, to be perfectly honest, I think we were robbed. It was definitely a blow, but it was probably something that the Grammys had to do because of the, back, the, the um, backlash that they were going to get from giving him the award. He's turning this into a soul song. Win or lose, though, it was this performance that had everyone buzzing. In fact, U2 was so enthralled, they watched the entire number with us in our one-on-one -on -one room, even offering running color commentary along the way. The kind of people that give, you know, give a lot of stick to Eminem, they always say, or the kind of people who say, you, can now, you can't hear what you're just saying. You know, speak up. And you can hear every word you say. Oh, well, here we go. Wow. his daughter. I've got this little trophy case at home that I try to keep all my little accomplishments in or whatever so Haley can see these things when she gets older and realize that you know daddy wasn't just gone just to be gone.